Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do a flip through of my 2024 Hobonichi Cousin. Um, it's not a setup because I've, as I said in my last video, like I've pretty much had already decorated it um, before I even decided to start a YouTube channel. So it's pretty much done. Only thing I did do was I added on the tabs here. These are from the Coffee Monsters Co. But otherwise everything's pretty much done. So I figured I would just kind of like walk y'all through um, how I've decorated it and how I'm using some of the blank pages here and there. So, um, all right, so let's start. Uh, this cover here, or th that I added on here, um, I think it's an app called Shuffle shuffles I don't know I think it's through Pinterest but people make like collages and mood boards and things and so I just found some that I liked printed them out and you know sized them how I needed them and then printed them out and so I just have this kind of like taped on the inside so I could easily remove it if I want to um, I also printed one for the inside cover here I thought that was really pretty. Oh, and I'm also using this clear cover is the Midori Codex size. Um, this one is supposed to be better. And I mean, you can, I don't know if you can tell here, but there's still like a lot of room in it, but it's better for the full size cousin. If you get like the regular A5 Midori clear covers they're better for the um cousin of x since they're only half the year um which now i'm kind of thinking maybe i should have got the evac because just looking at this cousin the one that i'm using this year i mean it's i and i didn't even use it the full year i've, I've been using it since july or august and and this one is in like the regular Midori clear cover so it's it's also like it won't stay closed because the clear cover is trying to keep it open but it's already like bulked up quite a bit so now I'm a little concerned for this cousin if I'm going to use it for the entire year it's going to bulk up a lot but that's okay it'll be well loved and then maybe for 2025 I'll get the Avex who knows um, okay, we'll continue. Um, I had in the cover here just the little, um, Coffee Monsters Co., her little, uh, freebies that she gives out on the Facebook group. These are for all the different birth flowers or, you know, for the birth months. Um, I know you can also buy them from her website if you don't want to print and cut them yourselves because I used my... Silhouette Cameo here to print it and cut it out. But yeah, if you don't want to do that, you can just buy them already as stickers and have them shipped to you. And I don't really know, I, I don't know how exactly I want to use these. I'll probably use these over in the dailies, like on the blank pages, just depending on how I continue to use the dailies because so far I mean day six still using the dailies as dailies and it's going okay it's not too bad but I mean I figure maybe there might be some months that I do dailies and maybe you know that it may be like a busier month I'd benefit more from using them as dailies and then on months that I'm not so busy I can just go back to like bullet journaling I don't know we'll see but yeah I'm thinking maybe like stick it up in the corner where it covers the month there but, um, all right, we'll go back to the beginning here. These are just some other stickers that I did myself to add a little bit of color to it. Um, I pretty much, I found this wheel of the year here and used some of the colors inside of it to make all these stickers. I don't really know. I mean, I don't use this page in my other cousin my other one i 
used these to cover here. And I mean, like I don't really use this page. It was just more like decoration, I guess. So probably just do the same here. You know, this is just purely decoration. Um, here are the, what is this? The year index. And I've been using this as a habit tracker, which I'll continue to use as a habit tracker. I just put off the habits here and then go down and check off whenever I've done it or whatever. Um, I've also been highlighting the days that show to show the suits of the tarot card that I pulled for the day. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do down here. I've kind of, at first I was thinking I would use it for like, like monthly tarot pulls and I could just put like, you know, whatever I pulled for January, I'd put it here, February, March, all that. But since I've kind of decided to do, to use the Hobonichi Weeks as a tarot journal, I don't think I'll do that here. I'll probably still put my, um, color of the tarot suit here just just to be able to see it all you know in this planner as well but I don't see the point in doing monthly pulls here and also in the weeks so I don't know what exactly I'll do here maybe just specific dates for the month um, birthdays anniversaries I could do that um, okay so into the monthlies I just use these very functional it's just bills and things I'll put washi down although I do have monthly kits that I will be using for this planner for 2024 um, I don't normally use kits monthly kits but they were just they were too pretty to pass up with all the birth flowers so and I've also already gone through I made my own little holiday stickers and so I've already put those down as well uh, let's see then you get into the weeks nothing nothing special there I mean we all we all know how to use the weeks um, these are the first two pages blank pages after the weeks before you get to the dailies I don't know what I want to do with this page yet um, so I've just kind of left it blank and unlabeled I did print out some vellum here which is curling but that's okay it's in the middle of the planner so it'll just maybe flatten out over time who knows um but this side I will be using it for I'll draw out a calendar for the year and it'll be for the moon phases and my um period tracker so and then again the dailies um like I said I'll I might continue doing using these as dailies since they seem to be working fairly well so far or I could just swap it up month to month just whatever I feel like if I don't feel like doing dailies that month if I want to go back to the bullet journaling then I'll do that I will see how things go um, so past all the dailies there's these two blank pages yeah these two blank pages that I don't know what I want to do with yet haven't quite figured that out. I do have these other pages kind of planned out for Tombow swatches, mild liner swatches, my pen test page. Um, I do have all that in the back of this one. Oh, actually, I think in this one, I put it in the middle. If I can find it, I have it tabbed. Use your tab, Anna. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so these are all my Tombow swatches here and then my mild liner swatches. So I'll just do the same thing over in this one. Pen test page and all that. Um, when was the last time I... So when I decided to use it for this, I think I had like ideas of how I was going to do the grid. And now I'm not sure what I was thinking. Because I think, like I know, okay, 12 months in the year and there's 14 here. So I don't think I was going to do the months down. I think I was going to do them this way. But it would be like six months here, six months here. So then these would just be duplicated down here. I think is what I was originally planning on doing. 
I really should like write this stuff down so that, you know, when time passes, I don't forget, but you know. <laughs> um, okay, monthly progress. That's what I was gonna use this gridded page here for. Um, just I'll just draw out the months here and put weight on this side because I would like to start working a little bit more on losing some weight um, in 2024. I before COVID I had lost like 70 pounds got down to what I in my opinion I think was too small for me so I don't want to get back down to that weight that I was um, but you know COVID hit and then just things happened and you know comfort food and all that and so I've put all the weight back on which I mean it happens to everybody I'm not like super upset about it it you know it happened so be it but um I would like to get down a little bit of weight lose you know lose a few more pounds um not down to where I was because like I said I felt like that was too skinny for me but yeah, so I'll be using this throughout the year as just a, a weight loss tracker. Um, this side, all the favorites, if I have like a favorite movie that pops up or book that I just absolutely loved, restaurant, any of that, I'll just use this page for that. This is the My 100 page, or pages, I should say. Um, I... I know a lot of people use them for books and some people use them as a gratitude log and things. Um, I'll be using it for books. So just whenever I finish a book, I'll put it in, in here. I might even, if I start reading a book, I don't know, maybe I won't track the, the you know, books that I didn't finish. Um, we'll see, and maybe it's just be the, the ones that I do finish. But yeah, this will be where I track the books that I read. Um, here, I don't have really any plans for this page. I don't know, that could change. This page, washi scraps. So, I currently have a page in this cousin where I put, and I forget who it's a bullet journaler on YouTube that does this. There, I saw it the, for the first time. They have, you know, a page in the back of their bullet journal where they put all the washi scraps, and I love that. So what I figured I would do in this one is each month, whatever washi I use, um, I'll just put like a little scrap on that month, and so that way I can see like which months, like what washi I used each month. I thought that would be um, fun. This page here, I'll use as my year in pixels. I am doing that currently in my other cousin, but it's, you know, I drew it out in the grid, um, but I just figured this would be a whole lot easier. I could just do it here and then I'll put in my color code, my key up there. But yeah, this will be my year in pixels, just for mood, if I'm happy, anxious, whatever, so. Um, I think this is the last page that I really have planned out. I have this one down as Christmas gifts. I think this will really just be like more towards the end of the year is where I'll put like my wish list or maybe even throughout the year if there's things that I see um, that I like. Well, I mean, I say throughout the year, but like me and my husband, we we just kind of buy things that we like. I mean, as long as, you know, as long as it's not too outrageously expensive but um yeah so probably more towards the end of the year just my my wish list that I want um I'll put it here so I don't really use the addresses page in the other one so I don't think I'll use that here personal notes and all that but um yeah so like I said a short video I was just gonna flip through and show you know how I'm using some of some of those blank pages or how I've adjusted some of like these you know those back back pages here to fit fit me so anyways um yeah so I hope y'all enjoyed it go ahead and um hit the 
notification bell and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!